Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Diana if you're new. Um, I hope your day is going well. I hope your Saturday is going well. It is cold over here in Connecticut, but sunny. But anywho, so I decided to draw this balloon dog that I've seen on YouTube, but mine is totally different compared to like the typical balloon dog. I ended up adding my own um, style to it. I chose greens and blues. I think those are beautiful colors together. Um, this is my first attempt to draw a balloon. It's definitely not as realistic as the ones I've seen on YouTube, but I really like it the way it came out because it's in my own style. And I'm using colored pencils. I am new somewhat new to color pencils because i typically use markers but let me tell you guys you go through color pencils so quickly because of all the sharpening that you're doing in between the drawing like oh my goodness like i don't know but i mean it is the color pencils did come out really good with this cray paper so I do like that part like the color the colors pop really well on this paper like everything just looks very um, rich like the colors look really rich and saturated um, it, they just look really beautiful but here's the doggy I'm telling you using color pencils is like going through hotcakes they ju you just go through them so quickly because of how many times you gotta sharpen the pencils and i've noticed like out of all the pencils i've used the light green is the most pencil that i've sharpened <laughs> through this whole drawing like it's weird but anywho i do like the way it came out um i am going to continue to work with colored pencils um because i had to get back to my other art piece that i'm working on that goes along with my heart piece so I did and add yeah. more to the dog besides just coloring it and keeping the background plain um, and I am going to redraw this and procreate because I do want to make this into a print and put it on canvas and you know but look at this look at the dog it came out cool Yep, I added some black and white. The black and white honestly made the dog look a little much better because the black and white makes it like pop. You'll see what I'm talking about. This did take me about three full days. I just finished it like today. Um, and yeah. Yeah. Like the first time Throw away all my pride Don't want to say I love you first But holding it in just might make me burst Love in the open Daydreaming, hoping Melting in heart Whispering winds bring the remembrance that you're my girl. No shame, no games. I wanna fall in love, fall in love. I'll be a savage, I'll be a baddest, or do you? Caramel honey dipped I'm yours till the beat flips Don't let it slip So I did end up adding drips to my dog Because the drips are my signature 
If you've noticed, um, in majority of my drawings, I do include drips. Um, it's just something that I like to draw, and I've noticed that like it's in majority of my drawings, so that's my signature as an artist. You will see a lot of drips. You will see a lot of abstract designs. Like uh, you will see a lot of like colors in my pieces. I'm all about the colors and like small details. So yeah. Look how so far it's looking. I really like how it's coming out. Like, look at that. The colors I chose are really good. Like, they work well together. So right now, I'm just going in with black, oh, blue pencil. And now I'm just working on the draw, um, the flower. Some stuff I did end up at the last minute, like the flower, and then the bottom. I didn't like how plain it was, so I added more designs to the bottom to balance the top. But, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. I really like how it's coming out. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video or enjoying this video. I actually enjoyed drawing this piece uh, like I said the next step is for me to redraw it and procreate and yes if you guys are working on something yourself please like take your time on it and you know enjoy enjoy the whole process as much as you can because I know as artists sometimes we do get the blank uh, we do get stuck and we do need to take breaks so that's really like it's really important for us to take breaks because you don't want to uh, keep working and, and not enjoy the process and not enjoy the drawing so it's okay to take breaks when we want to take breaks and then when we feel comfortable we can keep on working on the drawing and it's up to us when we feel like it's completed you know so that's the cool part about being an artist. We get to decide when it's completed. But anyways, you guys, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you guys next time.